All right, guys, I'm back again. Let's start with another video on the Ryobi RYI 1000 inverter generator. Uh, what I've done is I've done a full 20 hours break-in period, and that's specified in the manual. You want to go ahead and do that uh, because what it does is it sets the engine up for long service life. Uh, not only does it break in various seals and bearings and gaskets, uh, but it also helps to take out any impurities in the engine, especially metal flakes or foulings that may have been left over during the manufacturing process. That's why you want to go ahead do your 20 hour break in and you also want to change the oil at the very end of that 20 hour break in. That's what we're going to do here today. So before I start the camera here, I did take this out and run it for about five minutes at about a hundred watt load. Uh, you can run it lo no load if you want. I just want to go ahead and put a small load on it. And what that does is it heats the oil up enough that it flows out easily. You get a, uh, a lot more oil out of the engine quicker. And it's pretty much only going to run for five minutes so that you don't have a super hot engine and you're not burning yourself. So uh, give it about five minutes and it should be all set and ready to go. Uh, mine has uh, been sitting for about two minutes. Uh, so it's still pretty warm. Still feel the warmth and uh, the oil should still be warm enough for us to do our oil change. So what we're going to need for the oil change is of course we're going to need some oil. And what I've chosen here is 10W30 full synthetic. You don't have to use that but it is a better oil, it's better for the engine if you want to spend the extra money. So I'm going to put 10W30 full synthetic in here. Uh, we're also going to need something to catch the old oil with. And I have this old oil pan, it's actually a little bit of oil in there because I uh, did an oil change on one of my other gas power devices. So uh, we're going to take that and uh, when we're done with this, I'm going to take the old oil to AutoZone inside of a uh, certified container so that it's recycled properly. We're also going to need a funnel. Uh, now the funnel that came with the unit, the little paper funnel, was really only a one-time use. So I discarded of mine and I uh, just got a little plastic funnel. You can pick these up for a couple of bucks from any auto supply store. We're also going to want some paper towel to clean up any spills that we may have. And we're also going to need our little included uh, Phillips head screwdriver to take this maintenance cover off. So let's get started. All right, so to get started here, we're going to take our screwdriver and just take the maintenance cover off. And one little trick I learned is when you get the screw all the way out, you just go ahead and put it in the choke mode, and you have a little bit of space there so that you can stick your finger, pull the maintenance cover off, and set that aside. Uh, what I've done also is my oil catch pan is right below this table, so I'm going to move the generator right towards the edge of the table uh, when I'm draining the oil to uh, let that drip into the drip pan. Of course, I've got a little bit of paper towel to catch any spills. So let's go ahead, move this a little closer, and we're just going to undo this dipstick. I'm going to set that on a paper towel because it has a little bit of oil on it. And if I angle the camera down a little bit, you will see the oil flowing out nice and uh, smoothly because the engine is warm. So, whoops, Got a little bit on the table there. That's all right because that's AstroTurf and it's very easily cleaned. We can mop that up with our paper towel, but let's just go ahead. It's a very lightweight unit, so. Uh, tilting it on its side is very easy. We're going to let every last drop of oil get out of there. All right, and that's just about done. i try to clean up our mess a little bit. I'm going to have to clean this table off camera, but uh, one easier way to, of doing this is you can actually do this down on the ground if you don't have a table. Since the generator is so light, and just hold the uh, generator over your uh, your drip pan. That's also an easy way of doing it. I just have done it on the table for uh, demonstration purposes. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add our oil. And I have the old container here that uh, contained the initial oil 
and even though it's a much larger container than the uh, specified 8.5 ounces here I uh, just want to show you that that's what it takes it's 8.5 ounces there's markings on the generator as well as in the user manual as well as online if you're uh, not too sure how much you need to add but you really don't need to know that figure all you need to know is that the oil needs to come up to the end of the threads here um, and then that's your fill level so what we're gonna do is stick our funnel in here we're gonna take our 10w30 oil and we're gonna slowly add it now one thing you want to keep a uh, reminder of is the generator needs to be level when you're adding the oil uh, so that you are uh, adding the correct amount you don't want to tilt it or something like that in order to add the oil in there because you'll get a poor reading and possibly overfill it so I'm just gonna slowly slowly add our oil and uh, this is one quart of oil it's gonna take less than half of this bottle so uh, you don't need to add much just slowly add it let the funnel sort of drain out and then we'll check to see where the oil level is so we still have some oil to put in there it's not quite at the appropriate level and you see I went there a little too quick some of the oil came out the funnel and into the drip tray I probably needed a smaller funnel that's why this is dripping back out So, as you see there, we had a little bit too much oil, and that's okay, because it will drip back out. And what we can do is, we can bring it back over to the drip tray, let the excess drain out a little bit more, and we'll check it again. It's at the end of the thread, so all I'm going to do is mop up the excess oil with the paper towel and I always make a mess when I change the oil every single uh, generator or lawnmower I, I change the oil on I'm always kinda clumsy make a little bit of a mess but I always have you know a drip tray and this little table here which is very easy to clean oil off of uh, for backup so the oil is at the end of the threads we can double check that by just sticking the dipstick in after we wiped it off and uh, making sure the oil has at the little marks so just stick the uh, dipstick in there and we see that the oil is on the little marks and that's sufficiently filled so all we're going to do is reverse all our previous steps I'm going to put the dipstick back on put the maintenance cover back on and we'll be all set alright guys that concludes this video uh, we've gotten our oil change done the units properly broken in so in my next video I'm gonna be running some loads on this higher than 450 watts because uh, that's what I was really limited to during the break-in period you never want to run it uh, more than about 50 percent so I'll be running refrigerators um, different tools power tools I've got an impact wrench I'm gonna be running off of this and some other things just to see the capabilities of this unit so uh, check that out for the next video and then just as a little note here uh, this unit uses so little oil that after doing this oil change even overfilling the unit and having a little bit of oil spill out uh, there's still most of the bottle left you can see where the uh, the mark is here uh, that we only used this little tiny amount of oil so you can get multiple oil changes out of just a single quart of oil uh, with this unit which is uh, very nice because synthetic oil is not that cheap uh, but at least I'll get a couple of oil changes out of this bottle so as always guys thanks for watching if you have any questions leave me a comment down below and I'll try to get back with you so I'll see you guys later peace